Oh, she's not gaining any weight or showing a baby bump just yet, but <laughs> zookeepers say a panda at the San Diego Zoo is expecting. Big news. <laughs> Bayoun is already a mother of four. Now the zoo staff is preparing for another round of pandemonium. News 8's Jeff Zevely is live at the zoo with more. Jeff. I like that. I like that pandemonium. Bayoun is back at it again, and we hear she did this the old-fashioned way. We'll get to that in just a minute, but you're right. This is a mother of four healthy cubs, and she's pregnant again. We're going to pull in the curator of mammals, Carmi Penny, to answer the tough questions for us this morning. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. We're pleased to announce that she is pregnant. And when did you find out? Uh, the first sign of confirmed pregnancy was on the 18th of July when there was a, a fetal structure indicated and then we picked up a heartbeat on the 21st of July. Outstanding and the people at home are going to want to know when, 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 when is she expected to deliver? We anticipate a successful delivery sometime in early August. We cannot give an exact date because pregnancies, they sometimes determine how long they are themselves, but in the early part of August. Gotcha. So I'm a reporter and I have to ask the tough questions here. Uh, was there hanky-panky panda-wise or was this artificial insemination? This is California. It was the fun way. The fun way. And, yeah. and the father? is Gal Gal and yes he did his job. <laughs> he did his job. Uh, how about a name? People at home always curious about a name. When do you get to that? Uh, traditionally giant panda cubs are named at a hundred days of age and we do this in collaboration with our Chinese colleagues. Uh, we allow them to participate and um, collaborative effort even on the names. Gotcha. On the press release it mentioned that there's a second possible fetus inside the womb. Um, can you tell us more about that? We did see a second fetus several days after we confirmed the first fetus, uh, but this fetus is, the second one is not developing as predictably or as rapidly as the first fetus, so we anticipate that this one will be reabsorbed and we will only have a single cub born. All right, Carmi Penny, Curator of Mammals here at the zoo. Thank you very much for your time. We have a lot more coming up on this story. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we're going to head inside the zoo. We're going to check in on Bai Yoon and her two young cubs. We're also going to talk to zoo guests. They're approaching our news van as I speak. They're very excited about the news, so much more coming up tonight at 5. And Jeff, some very exciting news. Clearly, Bayoun is a big panda producer and a great mom, but do uh, zookeepers plan on breeding her again after baby number five and possibly number six arrives? Yeah, Adrian, she's 18 years old, and they have an agreement with the Chinese government for the next five years. They say she's healthy, she is a good panda producer, so they're hoping for two more cubs. Let's hope that that works out. We'll cross our fingers. Yeah, yeah. We'll be watching. Yeah. All right. Jeff Zevely live at the zoo for us. Jeff, thank you.